Hey guys, it's Eddie back with another review. This time with Star Trek The Warp Collection or Six Inch James Tiberius Kirk. Um, really nice figure. Uh, I got him today along with the two disc uh, Star Trek DVD and Spock. So, uh, really awesome figure. Um, let's set him off to the side and take a look at the packaging. Um, really nice. I've always, I really do like the packaging on these figures. It says on the top Star Trek. Playmates, um, and it has some advertisement about what's in it. Um, it says fully articulated and posable, a cool star fleet logo. It did have, it does have Kurt's name right there, um, but I, it is like somewhere else in the packaging. It just fell somewhere in the packaging. But uh, turn it around. Has uh, the intro to the old show on the top. It says Star Trek. Um, has some more figures in the line. And it has uh, different play accessories. That's the Starfleet Communicator, Starfleet Tricorder, and Starfleet Phaser. So, uh, really awesome packaging. I do, like I said, I like the packaging on these. But uh, let's take a look at Cap Captain Kirk himself um, pulling him off of his base. Gray Starfleet logo. Um, really good detail on the figures themselves. Uh, I I like the body and stuff, but you know, I'm just I'm just gonna say it. This looks nothing like Chris Pine, the actor um, who played him. I mean, it it kind of has a resemblance when you look at it from the front, but from the side, I mean, it's just like a virtually flat face. And he looks really a lot younger than Chris Pine did, so they they kind of missed the likeness to Chris Pine. But as a figure, the, I mean, the face looks nice. It just doesn't look like the actor. The hair I really like on it. Um, uh, like I said, with all the Star Trek figures, the warp collection ones, I, I love the rubber body, the rubber, um, suit, that is, um, the arms aren't rubber, of course, because it would hinder articulation, but the, um, chest part of the suit is rubber, which is really nice, so, uh, yeah, everything's really detailed, um, looks very movie accurate, so uh, let's get the accessories off so we can show off the articulation. So, uh, Kurt has, uh, 360 degrees of head articulation. Your arms can go in and out. Rotate 360 degrees. Bend at the elbow. Rotate 360 degrees at the wrist. Rot oh, and, uh, rotate at the elbow. Um, rotates at the waist. It goes forward and back at the leg. Bends at one point on the, uh, knee. Rotate at the foot. So, good articulation on these. Um, the foot articulation could have been better, but, you know... It's nothing too big to complain about. Um, for accessories, Kurt comes with the what most of the Star Trek figures come with, minus um, original Spock, Ambassador Spock. Um, he comes with a silver Starfleet base, and his, only his right leg, I mean his right foot, you can peg into it. Um, he comes with a utility belt, and I have his communicator in there, so let's get the communicator out. Uh, and my cat is in the I need to get out of here. Um, as you can see, sorry about that, my cat got into the screen. Um, as you can see, the communicator looks really nice. Um, overall, this is really good looking. Doesn't doesn't open, uh, doesn't open, but not a big deal. Uh, I do like it. Um, the belt's also really nice. Can hold the accessories really nicely. So it's hard to get it onto his waist, so I'm probably not going to do it. Um, and of course, a phaser. I really like the look of the phasers. They, they look really nice and nicely detailed, especially for being so tiny. Um, but it fits really nicely into the utility belt. As well as the communicator. And, uh, yeah, so overall, I do recommend Kirk. Um, if you're going to get one, I'd go with Spock. Um... Not the original Spock, but just Spock himself. Although original Spock is also good. Um, anyways, uh, good figure. You know, it's it really is. Um, I mean, if you're gonna have a Star Trek collection, of course you need to have Kirk. Kirk's like the main character, but um, well, one of them at least. Uh, but I definitely recommend it. Um, good figure, definitely worth the money. They're only ten dollars, and I think that's actually a steal for these figures because they are good quality, uh, good figures. 
So stay tuned for more reviews, and this is Eddie Singh. Live long and prosper. <laughs>